Hey guys, welcome back. Jerry once again here at Hilltop Firearms Training Center in Dover, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. A couple of years ago, I started using a, a line of parts and accessories made by a company called Fortis Manufacturing. Now, since that time, Fortis has expanded their line of products for the AR-15 tremendously. They make rail systems. They make both vertical and angled hand grips. They make charging handles. They make optics mounts. We today are on the range with the Fortis 5.56 muzzle brake as well as the Fortis control shield. Now this can be purchased separately or in a bundle. So basically we're going to get out here on the range shortly. I want to test this against a standard A2 flash hider and then I also want to test it with the control shield in place. We're going to talk a little bit about how this works, talk about some of the features, and uh, then we're going to get to do some shooting. And I want to see just how effective is this against, say, a standard A2 flash hider. Stand by. One thing I wanted to mention, guys, just to make sure you know that this test is going to be as fair as we can possibly do it, and as accurate as well. These are identically built uppers. All right, folks, here we have the Fortis 5.56 muzzle brake next to a standard A2 flash hider. The Fortis has lines cut into it, very reminiscent of their rail systems. Everything has a sharp angles, very drastic looking, uh, very precision oriented. But I do want you to notice, take note of, you have the cuts here that's going to direct the blast out the sides, but as well as the two ports on the top that's going to hopefully push the muzzle brake down. The one thing that I find really nice about it is it's really quite light. It weighs 2.8 ounces, and if you're uh, concerned about the length, say if you're putting it on a 14 and a half inch gun, it comes pre-drilled so you could simply put a pin and weld it in place because it is 2.28 inches in length. Of course, it is also made of 4140 steel, and it is nitride coated. Now, now how this thing goes on, it's kind of cool, but you have these little areas that are machined along the top. Simply bring it along, push, twist, and now it's locked into place. And it is released by simply depressing this, rotating, and pulling it off. We're going to go ahead and do some shooting now, but I really wanted you to kind of take a sort of an up close and personal look at this thing. Now, some of the um, some of the questions some of the folks have actually emailed me because I started posting pictures of this. They said, "Well, is this compatible with any other muzzle brakes on the market, or does it have to be the Fortis?" As of now, the only other brand on the market that it is compatible with is the Rainier Arms XTC 2.0 doesn't mean that they're not going to work with other manufacturers, but as of right now, it's either the Fortis or the Rainier Arms XTC. Um, let's look at some of the, the, the specs. 2.3 inches in length, 4.2 ounces in weight. The diameter across here is 1.49 inches. And once again, this is also manufactured of 4140 steel. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's do some shooting.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. Uh, initial impression of the 556 muzzle brake. Well, the design works. Uh, it, you instantly can tell that the felt, the muzzle flip, the muzzle rise is pretty much, it's cut in half. But as a result, I'm gonna tell you, if you're standing next to the thing, you're gonna get a lot of concussion. Now, when you're behind it, it's not as bad. But with any design, there's a lot of them out on the market that have those, those, those side cuts where it directs the blast out. You're gonna get it. If you're a recipient, you're, you're gonna know that that thing is going off. In my opinion, it seemed to increase the sound because it was directing the blast out the sides. Now, as soon as you put that control shield on, it's night and day. It is uh, a pleasure to shoot. It takes all that blast and concussion and sends it forward. I really am impressed with it. I will say if you're going to buy this, go ahead and go and get the bundle pack. It's worth doing because then it gives you that choice. It's adaptable. If you don't feel like running it, say you're at a, say doing some three gun shooting, competitive shooting, and you need to get those shots, you know, fast follow up shots, it's the way to go. Take the control shield off and go to work. If you want to control some of that concussion, throw that thing on there. Uh, guys, I'm going to post the link below to take you to Fortress Manufacturing's website. As always, I thank you for watching. We will see you soon on the range.